so this is gonna be a weird place to start the video, but I think teasers are the dumbest thing ever. Like, I understand the utility from an advertising point of view. You get to say, hey, there's this new thing that's coming out soon. I'm not gonna tell you the release date or any major features. I'm just gonna say, hey, it exists. It's six seconds long. This thing is so silly. I almost feel like EA just releases these things to give guys like Westy and Jack and Level Cap something to speculate on for 20 minutes. I don't know how they can turn six seconds into like 15 to 20 minutes of pure conjecture. That's pretty damn impressive. But for me, I was expecting a one-liner. I wanted this guy to turn around and say something, but he didn't say anything at all. I've got my eyes on them French fries. Did you say chocolate? 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 First of all, I just want to say thank you very much for allowing me to experiment with my content. I don't want to upload gameplay every single time. I want to make one of these every now and again. And just know that if you're subscribed to me, you should definitely be subscribed to me. Because I know a lot of you get like really hot and heated when I upload a game that you don't like. And I'm not going to be one of those channels ever. Like... Oh, this is not Rainbow Six Siege on sub. So just know that if you're subscribed, you should be subscribed to me, not necessarily just one specific game that you expect me to play. Oh, that sounded so corporate and so formulaic. I feel like jumping off that balcony. But let's get into your questions. How the hell will you pick certain questions out of over 4,000 comments? It's pretty simple. I read all of the comments. Like, I went down all the way to the very bottom. Look at how tiny my scroll bar is. It's right there. I saw all of them. Oh, this is a big one. Badger, why do your eyes shine like an anime? And I like how the first reply the top rated reply is because he's kawaii as fuck. I would say like a third of the comment section is purely about this. Like when I look into your eyes, I see rings of eternal pain. I don't want to give you the full panoramic, but here you go. It's this ring light right here. Okay, let me set this thing down. Yeah, so this is what it looks like dead on. I don't want to turn it up any higher just because that kind of turns me into a makeup guru. You know those intro- Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing another product that I don't actually use, but I really love money. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only thing I could review within arm's length is going to be this duster. Will it move my hair? Oh! Yes! Yeah, I kind of do feel like my hair is a little bit too corporate for this video anyways, so can we just ham this up a little bit? Okay, there we go. That's that's a little bit better. How do you choose the music for your videos? All I can picture in my head is you sitting at your computer until 5 a.m., just clicking on SoundCloud's recommended tracks for six hours until you hit gold, but it's got to be less ridiculous than that, right? No, that that is a tutorial right there. Myth busted. Oh, I'm so close to Robbie Rotten if I get this right. I can be a real superhero. Badger, why don't you have a GF? I do have a GF. I can find a picture if you want. Yeah, I really have no issue in showing you this picture just because it's a low resolution. It was captured on a Polaroid. It's never been digitally taken. And if you ever tried to search her face, I imagine your search results would include like half of China. Yeah, in case you didn't notice from the photo, she's five foot two, which means that she's three inches taller than me when I'm on my knees. And all of her friends think it's hilarious just because she looks like a Pikachu to the point where we had a party for her recently and her friends gifted her a mug of a Pikachu. It's a little weird now that I think about it, just because now I think all of your follow-up comments are just gonna be what it's like having sex with a girl that looks like a Pikachu. I don't even know how to answer that. What's the dankest meme you can find? Actually, another comment already answered this for me, so thank you very much to Biggie Cheese. Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside. Are you the kind of man who would go to a buffet line and when you see the immense variety of salad dressings, you feel slightly intimidated by not knowing what any of them are? 100% yes. Yes. Do blind people turn on their lights when they're at home? Wow, that's creativity in my comments section. What is this? The Russian badger, but every video's content gets worse. Hey, you wouldn't even need to really edit that video. You just throw them in sequentially and it works perfectly. What's your favorite video that you've uploaded? Easily, Jet Out 4, Revenge of the Yagwai. Seriously, I think that's like the best video that I will probably ever produce. I will leave a link down below. Oh my God, I love that video. I know that sounds really narcissistic, like I'm masturbating in the mirror or something, but I love that video. Badger, you should do a vid on Ghost Recon Wild... <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the recent footage, but I think it's going to be so bad, I'm probably even going to pass in the sponsor video and just give up all that cash and just tear it in two. I really want to just be like, Ubisoft, what in God's name have you created? But 
Obviously, I have a very poor track record for predicting Ubisoft games because I said Rainbow Six Siege was gonna be shit and it's definitely not shit. Hey Badger, how does it feel going from a YouTube that no one knows to one that still no one knows? Oh, it hurts every day. I'd rather be diagnosed with stage five cancer than hear your annoying voice again. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, this is another gigantic one. What is that voice that's always in Badger's videos? He's talking about this one right here. You'll forever know that you was out when we needed you most. You're That is Oscar Mike from a video game called Battleborn that I made a video on a while back. I have about 30 minutes of his voice and he has so many self-aware dude bro comments that he always seems to fit into the video. Who's the worst operator in Rainbow Seven Cheese? Bandit, 100% Bandit. Just because he's so generic and boring. I know that Matimio loves him. I know so many of you love his gun. I know I've already flared up the comment section, but I feel like Recruit has more character than he does. Bandit is just so generic. And that's about it. I wanna thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when we play a video game that half of you inevitably love and half of you inevitably hate. Goodbye.